we are going to set up a Squarespace site. So once you go to squarespace.com, you can simply click on get started in the right upper hand corner. And from here, you can select a template. You can narrow down your search results by clicking on these different uh, check boxes and narrowing it down by topic. The reason we're doing this is that certain templates within Squarespace are built for different things. So some templates might not be the best if you are wanting to start an e-commerce store, while others might be better suited for portfolios or blogs and so on. So for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to create a membership community where I sell cooking classes. So I am going to select online store to get that e-commerce element and I'm going to select memberships. So now it's filtered the results to the best templates for my needs. And since I'm doing food, I'm just going to narrow it down by topic as well. So now I have some templates that are built around the use case of food. So uh, once you find one that you like, you can either preview the template or you can select start with that template. You'll then be brought to the template demo. So you can name your site. Hit continue and it will go through some of the elements of Squarespace and then once you hit get started, you are now in a trial for building out your site. So you have all of the media and copy from the template. So from here, you would simply go through and customize it to your business and your product offering. So I would start with pages. So the navigation bar up here with about classes and contact are coming from your main navigation panel. If you hit the plus sign, you now have options to add more pages and certain page types. And you can also organize your navigation by folders. So if you did a folder, you could call this cooking classes. And then within that, you could create cooking classes by cuisine. And so on. So now, when someone hovers over cooking classes, there's now a drop down of different options. But because this is a new page, you'd have to build this out. Let's say you wanted to take the demo page and you like the style of it, all you have to do is click on it and then it kind of becomes your own page to deal with and it no longer is a demo. So from here, I would just update you know, the copy and add in your own pictures and any testimonials and so on. And I would just go through each page and either keep it and make it your own or you can delete it by clicking on this trash bin here or if you click on the gear setting here, you can edit the page title, how it shows up in the navigation bar as a title. You can change the URL slug. You can also turn pages off or password protect them. Another thing you can do is start in the not linked section. Not linked means that the person coming to your site can't access it. So if you are working on building out a certain page, I recommend starting off adding your pages under not linked and then when they are ready, for instance, if you're building out an online store, for example, you have your page and then when it's ready, you can simply move it to the navigation. Or like I showed earlier, you can simply disable the page and hit save. And then it no longer shows. So that's two ways you can hide content until you're ready to release it. So under pages, you can edit the style and design of your different pages and hit publish when you're ready. 
And then if you go back into home, you can then deal with more of the back end settings. So this is quickly how to get started in Squarespace. In the next video, we are going to look at setting up our member areas. Thanks for watching.